I'm going to start a brand new church from scratch. So let's jump into chat GPT and get this thing started. Now, the first thing we need is a name for this church. So we'll type in need a name for a modern church that most of the members are online. And we have Cyber Faith Community Church. And what I like to do in ChatGPT is ask for more suggestions. All right, so we got about 10 different suggestions that we can go with. So let's go and copy this first one. It's Virtual Grace Church, and I'm gonna copy this. And what I wanna do is see if this name is even available. So I'll go to namechecker.com and paste it into Namechecker. And it will go through and look for all the different social media sites, all the popular ones, to see if this domain is actually available. So we see the .com is available. The Facebook, unfortunately, isn't available. And the YouTube one, it's still checking. So let this run through. Now, while this is actually running through, because it shows that Facebook is not available, I always like to go and double check. So we'll jump over into Facebook and we'll do a search for Virtual Grace Church. And we actually see that there is a Virtual Grace Church. I'm gonna actually see what their domain name is. And we're gonna type it up here. Let's see if it actually matches. Virtual Grace Church. And it does pull back, so we're not gonna be able to use that one. So looking at the list of the other names, I'm not quite a fan of all of these, so I'll do even more suggestions. Let's check out and see about Faith Link Fellowship. I actually kind of like that one. So we'll go and copy this into Name Checker. And unfortunately, it looks like Facebook is taken there. But what we will do is just go and verify. And looking at this, it might be available. So let's actually put it as the full domain name. And I'm not seeing it show up here, so that might be a good thing. Let's jump over to YouTube real quick and just do a search for that. Faith link. I'm not seeing anything come up, so I think this is actually going to be a good one to go. Now, it's still checking here on the different websites, but the domain is available, and that's a good thing because now we can go and lock that down pretty much immediately here. So let's jump over to GoDaddy and go and grab Faith link fellowship and what i like about this is it costs one cent on godaddy so go ahead and continue now because i already have a godaddy account i'm probably not going to get that really really good price it'll probably be closer to like 11 bucks since i already have an account and i don't get that promo we'll drop this down to one year and we don't need the full protection because this is really going to be for demonstration purposes because we're using all of this to help set up what it looks like to do social media management and live streaming if you have a church or ministry and you need some assistance. So $11.99, pretty much what I thought, ready to pay. Let's go and complete this purchase. So now we own the domain faithlinkfellowship.com, which is ours. So now that we have acquired a domain and we have a name for our church, what I want to do is go back into ChatGPT and ask it for a vision or a mission statement because we are going to need some stuff for our website once we set that up. One of the great things about ChatGPT is if you don't like the suggestion that it gives you or the information, you can fine tune it by giving it more information. So you can ask it to specify certain things or you can add to what you put in originally to make sure that it crafts that message that you really, really want. Now, I always recommend that even though it does give you an output, go in there and make those modifications to truly make it your own. So now that we have a church name, we have a vision statement, we pretty much have what we need for the very basics foundation of getting this church started all by using AI. Now we need to go to Google so that we can lock down an email address and an account so we can actually create a profile for YouTube and have our live streams and video content on YouTube. 
And because this is not a real nonprofit, we'll actually just use personal. So we'll do faith link as the first name and we'll do fellowship as the last. Now, if your church has never set up a Google account, make sure that you check out the nonprofit side of Google because you'll be able to take advantage of some benefits there. So now that we have our Google account set up, we got to create a logo for this church. So we're going to jump over to a website called freelogodesign.org and we're going to paste in our name of our church. And let's go to create. And let's scan through, see what we like. We might change this later. So let's go with this design, pretty simple, easy design here. And we'll download this design and we'll download the free low resolution version of it. Your free logo will be sent by email. So we'll do faith link fellowship at gmail.com and we'll go Monty and download our design. And it's pretty cool that this site even shows you some of the different merchandise that you can get with your logo ready to go on all of this so this is pretty nice let's jump into our google account that we just created to make sure that we are able to get our logo so here it is here's our logo so we can download our logo and let's jump into canva because now we need to create our facebook page elements and our youtube elements so, so let's start with our facebook cover and blank cover and upload our logo so downloads upload our logo now i want to find the exact color of the blue so we'll go to color picker and use our image Oops. so we can get the right color so now we'll go back and change this edit and place the right color and now we have the right color for it so share and download So we have our Facebook banner. Now let's create our YouTube banner. And obviously you can definitely spend more time customizing it, getting higher resolution, but I just wanna show you how powerful AI is if you're just trying to get started, because it doesn't take that long. So now we have our YouTube banner and we will do the same thing here to keep everything congruent. We'll look at our uploads. Grab our logo, stretch it out, center it. Elements, we're gonna just grab background, square, position, back, and change the color. And download this. Now let's jump over to Facebook so we can actually create our Facebook page. Now, as you can see, I was just in the Ecamm live community and it's crazy that this live streaming platform has a community of over 22,000 people. So if you haven't followed here on the channel, make sure you subscribe because we're gonna talk a lot about Ecamm and using that as your tool for live streaming, especially if you have a Mac computer. So let's go up to the top here and see all of our profiles and create a new page. This is going to be a public page and we'll get started here and our new church name is Faith Link Fellowship. So let's put that here. Category, let's see, church and bio, we'll just put church online for now and create page all right faith link fellowship 
is invalid uh, so we have to make this there we go needed the space all right so that was there and the website we did lock down that domain we do have a gmail account uh, no office hours available. Hopefully we can get through. Let's see. This is online. Well, let's just select online. Yep. And we can pass through there. Add a cover photo. I believe it's that one. Add a profile picture. And that is our logo. Let's see if it's that one. Awesome there. Next, so we're going to skip past the number. We can invite friends if we want it, so we'll skip there. Page notifications, marketing, so we'll leave that on for now. Default, and not now. That's actually been a while since I've created a Facebook page, and some things have changed a little bit. Now let's jump over into YouTube and create our YouTube channel over here. So it's going to be a brand new YouTube channel. YouTube Studio. We've got our name. We've got our handle. I should have uploaded a profile picture right there, but I'll do it here in a second. So we'll just jump back over here. Customize our channel. Let's go into settings. So let's jump into customization and click on branding and we'll upload our logo here. We'll upload our banner. And we'll upload our watermark too. Let's jump back into our dashboard. Oh, let's hit publish first. Now let's jump back into our dashboard here. Let's view our channel, see what we're looking like. So that is updated, looks good. And let's type it into the search bar to see if it's loaded yet. All right, so page is still working on being processed. But by the time you're watching this video, it'll be up there. Go and subscribe to the channel. We're probably gonna be using this a lot for uh, information. So we'll see how fast this channel grows. We'll see if we can actually get a subscriber base on this channel. That'll be pretty cool. Now let's jump back over into GoDaddy because as you can see right here, we actually have a website that is ready to be published. So by default, it gives us a temporary site. So we'll go ahead and hit publish now. Now this is pretty cool because even as I'm recording this video, I'm just having the ideas come to me that maybe you guys can go and subscribe to the email list and this can be a way that we can communicate and you know what this looks like coming from what your church and ministry could potentially do as well. So we'll see. You guys let me know in the comment section, should we actually grow this? Should we work together and build this out? You guys let me know. Let's go ahead and hit continue. And let's view the site here. Continue. So we have a site that's already customized. It has some general information in here. Obviously, this church was not established in 1950, so things like that will have to go and change. But what is pretty cool is that we can go into this mission statement, run back into ChatGPT, copy what we have here, and paste it. 
and paste it back into our website here and hit done and publish save and publish so as you can see we can use ai's to benefit our ministries help us work more effectively help us come up and create ideas now if you haven't checked out the ai tools video that i released on the channel make sure that you watch that one and if you haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell for the upcoming videos do that because we're going to be talking more about facebook live streaming youtube live streaming and also how to live stream to your website i'll see you in those videos